Secretary of State Hillary Clinton made an unannounced visit here to Kabul on Saturday en route to a donors conference in Tokyo to decide how much aid will continue to flow into Afghanistan after more than 88,000 U.S. troops leave by the end of 2014. Today, we also learned weapons will flow more easily into Afghanistan. The Obama administration is designating this country as a major non-NATO ally. That means Afghans will have access to loan financing and be able to order American-made weapons more quickly. While direct U.S. engagement is winding down, the violence here in Afghanistan continues. This year, 28 NATO soldiers were killed by Afghan forces, the same soldiers they were training to take over security here. Afghanistan also needs money. The World Bank estimates that $4 billion a year is what is needed. We'll see on Saturday whether the U.S. and Japan will step up to the plate to continue their funding. For CBS This Morning, I'm Margaret Brennan in Kabul.